Hey, what's up guys? Today I'm gonna show you how to make a save code generator just like this. So let's get started. So what this does is like, here you can see we have three values. So get save code and here you can see I have the save code and this works like here you can see if I have joined the cache fr first, it has a maximum length of three. Here you can see it has 0, 070 because it has a zero, but that will work if we load it because if we change it by one, the zero will be automatically removed. So we can just copy this and let's restart the project two, three times. Here you can see the values are changed. Now if I load it, it will still get all the values back. Here you can see this is working. So let's get started with the code. So first of all, we're gonna do some basic stuff like the making the button work. So when the green flag clicked, go to X0 and Y35. I have set it for the save button. Here you can see I have a save button. Then we have a load button. When the green flag click, go to X0 and Y35. Go to front layer, show forever, if else, touching mouse pointer. It will just like do an effect, which I'm telling you, this is really cool. So change size by and put a dividing operator and then put a minus operator in the first space. Then you can put the size variable here. Now you can just set any size like the button main size is 100. You can set it to any size you want smoothly. It will transition to it smoothly. So I'm setting it to 120 and divided by three or this is the smoothness level. You can increase it to make it slower, decrease it to make it faster. But this looks really cool and then else you can just put it 200. So it goes back to 100 very smoothly. Here you can see when I start, this is really smooth. And now we'll make the click like what happens if we click click function. So if mouse down, wait until not mouse down. This should be in the if else thing if one because here you can see touching mouse pointer and mouse down is equal to a click and wait until not mouse down is to complete that click. And now we'll put the script below this block. So it will be like, first of all, we need some variables. This is not a game, so it doesn't have any values. Like if you have a game, you might have one or two variables like the score or the cash or the health of the player. So I'll just make them. So I'm making score, health and cash. So I'm just making them visible so you can see it. Then I'm just setting cash to pick random 1 to 100 because I don't have any changing value. So I'll just set it to 1 to 100. It will set randomly. So health will be set to 1 to 100 because health is never more than 100. Then we have scores. Let's try 1000 because it will be better if we try different values. So we have all three set. I'll put it here and also make a variable called save code. This variable will save our store our save code. So make it hidden then set save code to blank. So to make it blank, you can just click on it and press backscape. So it will just remove that and now we'll set the save code. So first of all, we need to get all these values. So we'll make a if else statement for that. So if else and we'll take a variable like cache first. So we'll take cache first and it will be like, so it will detect the length of it. So this is a type of limited save code generator, but you can set it to unlimited by increasing the values to anything you want. Like the max length will be for the cache will be three because I've set it to one to hundred. But if you want it more, you can just set it to like one, two thousand or anything and your max length will be 15. So let's see. So I'll just put it here like length of and we'll put your cache. So length of cache, which will be one because we have the value zero. But if we put it like like one, two, three, if it is value like this, it will say three. So length of cache is less than and you can just put the value here like I'll put your three because the max length I want is three. You can just set it to 15. So it will detect any value. And I don't think your games will reach the length of 15 in variables. So length of cache is less than 15. Oh, sorry, I've put the wrong one. So length of cache is less than 15 or I will say three. So just repeat. You can put a minus operator here and put the length of cache in the second one. And in the first, you can put three or the max length. So it will just add some zeros. So to add zeros, I'll put your set save code to you can just put your join and put inside of that save code and your zero. So it will add the number of zeros we have like it will deduct the length of cache by three. So if your cache is like say 29, so it will be like uh, less than three, but it is two. So the value will be two. So three minus two is one. So it will add only one zero. So it will be zero to nine, which is 29 you can say. And then you can just duplicate this, put it beneath the repeat loop and put it like join save code and instead of zero you can put cash so it will add the value and in else you can just put this only like this will only be the block we need and now we'll add it to the list so make a list called save code you cannot copy variables in the full screen thing 
but you can copy list items so i'll just put it make a list and adjust it make it look like you can just copy it without obstructing the buttons so you can just put it like add thing instead of thing you can just put your duplicate display and put save code variable add save code variable to save code and also add copy the code above so it will just instruct the player to copy the code above and this will work so now this is for the one variable but if we want it to be easier but also for many variables you can just make a block name this add to save code and then you can get two values first of all we want the variable so variable and put here anything you want like number or text input and you can name it anything then we have the max length and you can just put here another number or text input and you can just name it anything click on ok put it here and get this script out here this if else statement and put it here and these two red blocks should be here like we'll put the script above the, these two blocks but for now this should be here and here you can just remove the cache variable block we have here four times you can see and instead put the variable one like length of variable this this ping block in the place of three or the max length we have two places here you can just put this ml like the max length one and here we have all set we need to do this thing only and now we'll put it here here you can see then you can put then you can put the cache variable here and max length will be three you can put it 15 but i'll put here three then you can do it for all the variables so score max length four health max length three so here we have this three four and three you have to keep it in a sequence if you want and you have to remember this three four and three and this should work like the saving should work so we can now generate a save code and also to take some precautions like if we add this and we not do not delete it the player will be confused so to avoid confusion you can just put here delete all of save code so it will delete all the items before the game starts or the saving starts and you can also put here like hide the list here hide list save code when it starts and when you finally give these two commands you can just put your show list save code and this will work oh i did a mistake you have to put this inside of this and now you can see it is working when i click it is here we have the save code you can just copy it so here we have the sequence here you can see first of all we have the cache which is 096 then we have the score which is 0333 and then we have the health 057 now we'll make the load algorithm so to do that go to load sprite we'll do the basic stuff again so i've done the basic stuff here you can see we have this 120 100 and everything the y is negative 35 this time you can just set according to what you want and now we'll make the loading algorithm so first of all make a variable called anchor for this sprite only and click on ok make it hidden and now we'll make the loading algorithm so first it will ask for the code so ask code or you can put any message you want then set save code to the answer we get so it will just get the save code and now we have to clear the variables so we can put the values so cache set cache to blank you can just click on it and press the backscape button and do this for all the variables cache health and score you can see these are blank now and then you need to remember this sequence here you can see it is three four and three so three for the cache so first we'll make for the cache so it will be like first of all set anchor to zero so it will be zero then you can put here repeat three change anchor by one set cache to so now we'll setting cache then join you can put here the variable cache inside of the first one and in the second one you can just put here like letter dash of apple and you can just put your letter anchor of save code so here you can see the anchor is set to zero so when we in the first repeat the anchor will be one so letter letter one of save code so it will join the cache with the save code so first time the cache is blank so it will be like only letter one of save code so which is zero i think yes we have zero then we have the other two values one and four so it will be automatically set by this repeating block so this will work so then you can just duplicate this put it here then you can just do it for every other variable so next we have score for four so you can just put your repeat four and instead of cash you can put score just like this in both these and put your four duplicate it again put it your three repeat three we have health variable so put your health and health so this should work and this will put our all the values 
and you can also put here hide the list so it will be better so after asking for the code or before asking the code you can just put here hide list save code it will be better here you can see i have these two buttons both are working when i get the save code i have the save code for this so to be transparent i'll just restart the project two three times and then i click on load save code paste it here press enter here you can see we have all the values and you can just do it infinite times like i will get again and paste it again and here you can see we have the values again so this will work for all of your games you can customize it as you want and you can put it on your game so this is a safe code generator i hope you guys enjoyed and learned something today and if you like the video smash that like button for the algorithm and if you want more content like this you can just subscribe to the channel and thank you guys for watching and i'll see you in the next video